222 day, we will talk about XLM, XRP, and also bring up a little on FAIR as well, and tie it all into a company partnered up with Stellar, who is creating AI banking infrastructure, and even speculate a little bit on some potential ties into Stellar Bank. A lot of this involves the intersection of AI agents and DLT financial infrastructure. Here is a former Ripple employee who is talking about exactly this. AI and agents are going to fundamentally change the way that we interact with the internet. At least in Silicon Valley, it's fairly well understood that the concept of websites is going to be like rotary phones of having to type in a URL address. And so where the future is, is one where agents are able to go out across the internet, programmatically pull information from different sources, and then deliver it to you in a programmatic new interface. Here are some comparable comments on how that can integrate into Flare as well. Plan. Um, and this is where you might get things like, you know, secure usage of AI agents, whereby you can operate, um, you know, a, 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 a machine learning algorithm within a confidential compute, um, you know, uh, layer and use that on Flare so that you know what you're getting. Um, but of course, anyone can run an AI agent off chain and use Flare. In fact, many people are, I'm sure. Um, you know, when you're thinking about, uh, when you think about arbitrage, right, that is being run by a machine learning algorithm, which is often run by a machine learning algorithm. It doesn't have to yeah. be run by a machine learning algorithm, but you know, that, that is a form of AI that is already doing that. Um, I think when people talk about AI agents, they're talking about things like, you know, LLMs that are kind of a, a little more autonomous than a standard machine learning algorithm. The X Ripple guy in the first clip I showed is from Skyfire. Ripple, Coinbase, and Circle are some of their key investors. Franklin Templeton has been talking about AI agents and the crypto ecosystem. In a publication put out in January of 2025, they are concentrating on the recent explosion in development of these kinds of autonomous agents and specifically providing examples of their growth. Now, that is particularly important here because Franklin Templeton has been working with Stellar for quite a while now on tokenizing their U.S. government money fund with the Stellar Network. And I believe off of the top of my head, it is a $1.7 trillion fund. There are some unique advantages that the Stellar Network has that could make it particularly effective with the combination of AI agents. The overview of the key points here is that Stellar has its own smart contract platform. It has multiple DEXs that are all run with tokens that have extremely low transaction fees. And there are a lot of components of the Stellar network and its consensus protocol that allow it to be easily expanded to an extreme scale. Lobster actually recently posted on it too and they actually operate a node on the network. Here, they are not providing any specific details. It is more of an overview and an introduction, but it calls out how an AI agent could assist with managing financial transactions, which could also easily be expanded into DeFi. And in fact, there are platforms out there even now who are concentrating on that. Here we get into some specifically pertinent ties into how Stellar is already p positioned for some kind of application of this on the institutional scale. I first talked about this in April of 2024, and it didn't exactly pick up a ton of attention at that time. It all 
revolved around a tiny company I found called NetXD. And even as of right now, they only have 53 followers on X. So I am kind of speculating that they're purposefully not trying to generate a lot of attention. Here is a 2022 announcement on how Stellar invested $10 million in their company. Once I explain the next point here, I will play a couple of parts of my old video where I explain a lot about who that they are, what they do, and how it works. Here is an interesting patent. And I think I've actually seen this before, and I think I've actually talked about it a little bit. However, it was not a piece of information I could make a lot of sense of at that time. Here is the first page of the patent, which is called Stellar Bank's External Transaction Agent for International Remittance on Stellar Network. And if you look up the actual patent, it was filed in 2019. It was published in late 2020, and it still has a pending status. So I'm not too sure where this actually went. And one of the things with patents is that once you actually put out a patent, then it becomes public information. And of course, you can't just carbon copy what is in a patent for yourself or it could end up in a lawsuit. However, if people are able to effectively reverse engineer it and change it to fit the, the an application, then there are a lot of gray areas that one could argue that they're not actually infringing on the patent. So what a lot of people and companies actually do is that they don't file for a patent and they keep the important information under their own control as their own intellectual property. So if you look at the patent itself, it calls out a design for the, the architecture and main solution of a computer software system, which provides banks transaction operations in between each other on Stellar. The blockchain solution allows efficient use of a network to provide parallel services of international transactions with real-time accepted requirements. Claims of the patent are that it could improve money transfer technology, improves banking connectivity for real-time transactions. The design allows operations on the Stellar network, which provides the transfer and conversion of funds without usage of SWIFT. It is also talking about real-time clearance and a couple of other things that just kind of say the same thing in a different way, but it all revolves around the near instant settlement improvements and compliance. And it just so happens that that patent had Stellar Bank in the title and they just began to pop up in Texas in probably about 2021 and it has expanded a whole lot. So it does not have any obvious ties, but I just think that it's a coincidence that that is interesting enough to me where I am able to connect a couple of other pieces of tangible information and I can speculate a little bit. Here is the NetXD site, which talks about all of what they do. And here I will provide an overview of that and call out a couple of the important elements. That is pretty much enterprise chat matched extremely closely with the AI tool that I was told about that is related to, to XLM. So I began to poke around at this more. Here is the announcement and it is from March 19th of 2024, which is about a year and a half after 
the SDF announced that they invested into NetXD. The ELAM leverages LLMs, which are large language models like chat GPT, to understand user instructions and generates code, which is what triggered my connection and questioning skills here, to automate the execution of microservices and primitive actions. It enables users to further validate and test the code and generate documentation as input into the enterprise testing and QA process. Enterprises, including banks, can use XDELAM to automate back office and mid office operations. Enterprises, especially banks of all sizes, must prioritize operational improvement and automation. Conversational AI, powered by LAMs to instruct banking activity, represents a huge increase in, in intelligent automation. NetXD is in the forefront of transforming banking tech from the ground up. The director of NetXD is an ex-group executive, enterprise services, and CIO of Commonwealth Bank of Australia, and previously Group CIO of Deutsche Bank. So we continue to tie Australia into XLM and everything that I explained in the APFII content that also expanded into IBM Hyperledger, Trade Lens, and We.Trade. NetXD's platform, or banks, can be deployed as a sidecar core. With the ELAM, the platform provides an attractive opportunity for my industry colleagues to modernize infrastructure while reducing complexity created by numerous legacy applications. NetXD has created a proprietary AI platform that can execute enterprise objectives into highly accurate and secure applications and processes in the enterprise OS. And it explains more of the tech things there, which uh, I, I'm not familiar with those things and I'm okay with that. So here is the NetXD site. We have NetXD launches XDELAM, which supports rapid development of actionable applications on XD Ledger. You can store any type of assets, tokenized or not, and the assets are only accessible with digital private keys, which goes back into asset securitization and custody. It is programmable and it is pre-integrated to XD payments with connectivity to all major US and global payment rails, enabling money movement across multiple channels. And I would highly suspect that those payment rails tie into IBM Worldwire and IBM Hyperledger and then connect into things like Casper, HBAR, HX, Quant, Algo, and there are even ties into XRP and the ILP. XDELAM understands user instructions and generates code to automate tasks. So it's essentially chat GPT that is a trained AI model for a specific application. Here we have XD Ledger, which is to modernize banking and payments infrastructure and bring new products and solutions to market quicker. Provide best in class retail and business banking solutions which sounds a lot like SHX, and embedded banking solutions to partners, including comprehensive access to all major US payment rails and international payments as well. Here we have a couple of examples from Latin America and the M Middle East. This one here is talking about how it helped to connect to Visa. Who should be interested? Well, it talks about incumbent banks and new banks as well, which is interesting as we come into this blockchain and digital assets era. 
And here is Sidecar Core, which is a high approach implementing XD Ledger alongside your existing core by a file or API based integration. Now, APIs are a thing that SHX talks about a ton. And we've got payment channels such as Fedwire, Nacha, which again goes back to, to SHX, FedNow, which goes back to XRP, XLM, SHX, MasterCard, and Visa, which are all tied into XRP, XLM, and SHX. So what the platform does is that it connects into the financial institution system and connects with their CRM and accounts to be able to integrate all of their information into the ELAM platform. It is a zero trust architecture. You can embed KYC to create digital IDs, which Velo is working on that specifically, which is connected back into XLM and XRP. And it has native double entry bookkeeping as well, which is a accounting thing that is pretty much only legal if you're a bank because it counts liabilities and assets in the exact same way. And I didn't explain that well, but that's because I don't truly understand that. But I know that it means that they're essentially creating value that doesn't physically exist. Here we have XD Payments, and it solves all of your major payment needs. It is integrated with real-time payments from the clearinghouse and now, which ties into a lot of ISO 222 assets. You've got ACH modernization and wire transfers, which is by way of APIs. And that sounds a lot like SHX again. You've got modernized card things as well, which goes back into what SHX and Velo are particularly concentrating on. And cross-border payments with Visa B2B Connect, which ties heavily into XLM, XRP, Velo, and even SHX. And here we talk about a unified payments hub, which sounds a lot like what the unified public network is, which I introduced in the APFII content. And then we've got XD digital banking. So you are able to go to market quickly with their mobile banking app, which seems as if it can be white labeled for participating financial institutions and banks to create their own platform on. You've got card options, real-time payments and FedNow transfer options, KYC, and an entire banking platform that ties into each of the other product offerings that I just explained. I primarily wanted to talk about this because it reminded me of an AI tool that Stellar has that is used in a different way, but it sounded a lot like that. And this whole net XDD thing is a lot larger and a lot more significant than I first thought it was. Particularly.